Good morning, and a warm welcome to you all on this cold day. Our service will begin in a few minutes, but first we have asked Matthew, Gareth's closest friend, to say a few words. Yeah. Gareth used to prefer funerals to weddings. He said it was easier to get enthusiastic about a ceremony one had an outside chance of eventually being involved in. In order to prepare this speech, I rang a few people to get a general picture of how Gareth was regarded by those who met him. Fat seems to have been a word people most connected with him. Terribly rude also rang a lot of bells. So very fat and very rude seems to have been the stranger's viewpoint. On the other hand, some of you have been kind enough to ring me and let me know that you loved him, which I know he would have been thrilled to hear. You remember his fabulous hospitality, his strange experimental cooking, the recipe for duck a la banana, <laughs> fortunately goes with him to his grave. Most of all, you tell me of his enormous capacity for joy, and when joyful, when joyful for highly vocal drunkenness. But I hope joyful is how you will remember him. Not stuck in a box in a church. Pick your favorite of his waistcoats and remember him that way. The most splendid, Replete, big hearted, weak hearted as it turned out, and jolly bugger most of us ever met. As for me, you may ask how I will remember him, what I thought of him. Unfortunately, there I run out of words. Perhaps you will forgive me if I turn from my own feelings to the words of another splendid bugger, W. H. Auden. This is actually what I want to say. Stop all the clocks, cut off the telephone, prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone, silence the pianos and with muffled drum, bring out the coffin. Let the mourners come. Let the aeroplanes circle moaning overhead, scribbling on the sky the message, he is dead. Put great bows round the white necks of the public doves. Let traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves. He was my north, my south, my east and west my working week and my Sunday rest, my noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever. I was wrong. The stars are not wanted now. Put out everyone. Pack up the moon and dismantle the sun. Pour away the ocean and sweep up the wood. 
for nothing now can ever come to any good. Thank you.